Let's see who is logging in this afternoon and joining us live for Jelly Telly. I am behind the scenes right now. Okay, leave us a comment if you are here and that way, oh, there we go. People are logging in. Good afternoon, live. I'm going to take this off my face so y'all can see. Oh, there we go. We're live. <gasps> there we go. Good afternoon. Welcome to the second edition of Jelly Telly live coming to you. I'm excited. I'm Tracy Weinzaffel. We have some good stuff today. Um, we do have a new product to unveil. Okay, here come the comments. I love it. So I will let you know that behind the scenes, we have Madison who is answering or will be able to see your questions and comments. I also can see them. My name is Tracy and I'm the artist coordinator for Jelly Arts and I'm going to introduce the owner again, who is Lou Ann, and I'm gonna bring her in here. I'm just making sure, here comes the comments. Here comes everybody. Thank you for logging in this afternoon. Hello, welcome. Hi, Birgit. Okay, I would love for our artist design teams to stand up and uh, introduce themselves uh, via the internet. And we do have one of our brand ambassadors here um, and that is Marsha, so she'll be joining us soon, and I see everybody's here, so I'm going to unmute the lovely, um, uh, let's see, I'm going to bring in Luann. Luann, where are you? There you are, Luann, and let's hey. see. So we're coming to, hey, Tracy. we're coming to you from both ends of the, both sides of the United States. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, I think your weather might be a little bit nicer. <laughs> Don't even ask. <laughs> I could be doing this outside right now by the pool. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll have to join you one, one of these months. I would love that. So everybody, this is Luann, and yes, she is one of the co-founders, co-owners of uh, Jelly Arts and... I know you have something exciting that you would like to share with the Jelly Arts fans. So without much further ado, take it away, Luann. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. We are, it's actually very nice here in Philly. We're having beautiful weather. It's like 50 degrees. So if it's, I, Uh oh, oh, there we go. A jelly. We, this. Oh, Luann, you're on. Yeah. Oh, sorry, your connection is cutting out just a hair. So let's just make sure I can hear you. Okay, can you hear me? I can now. Sorry about that. The connection is only the connection. So we'll make do. Yeah. We do have a lot of construction here. So I don't know if that's impacting, but. Anyways, it's nice to have everybody with us today. It's always wonderful to hear from all of you. Um, this month, uh, we usually every year unveil some new products. And this year, we're really excited because we have something totally new. We've never done anything like this before. We love it. So we hope that you guys are going to love it too. Um, and usually our ideas are, they're sparked by comments from all of you. So your questions are always really helpful because it makes us think about what we're doing. And we've had so, so many questions over the last several years about how can I center my print? You know, what, do you have any tips about centering your prints? Or do you have any tips about layering? Because every time I layer, it's kind of hard to make it you know, perfectly on top of the, the underlying layer. So we were thinking about that and we came up with this really cool tool. So I wanna share it with you right now. So here it is, here's the packaging. I hope you can see it. We're yep. calling it Jelly Art's Perfect Placement Tool. And on the cover, we have a beautiful picture that actually Joan, uh, my co-founder, uh, printed using the tool 
And you can see it's this beautiful vase and leaves on this beautiful background, and it's all so nicely aligned. And then it's nicely centered also. You can see the background on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So also on the front of the package, I just want to show you, we have a QR code and you can scan it with your phone and it'll take you to a video of the product in use. So now I'm going to open the package and I'll show you the product. It's absolutely, we're just thrilled with it. It's quite, it's just beautiful. So here is the tool. It is, it's a, a very a sturdy piece of acrylic with um, some holes. I don't know if you can see, but the holes are for, um, to place our little paper guides. So we have three paper guides here. There's one here on the uh, vertical edge, <laughs> one in the corner, and then one up here on a horizontal. So those paper guides can be uh, moved depending on what size plate that you're working with. So I can't show you uh, very well, but here, let me just, I'll try and hold it up and show you, but really what you're gonna have to do is go take a look at the video. And the video is also on our website. If you go to jollyarts.com and you look under printing tools, this will be the first product. And when you look at it, you can, there's a link there and you can watch the video. But the tool, we designed the tool to work with um, our four different size gel plates. Um, we, the little guy, the three by five, in each plate you can just snug right into the corner here of the tool. Um, there's, we, it works with the three by five, the five by seven, our six by six, and our eight by 10 inch gel printing plates. And so in all four of those plates using this tool, you can print perfectly centered and aligned prints. And so I'll just show you a few that I've done. So here's an example of a three by five. And you, uh, you probably can't see it very well, but there are a few layers here. And the beautiful part is it's perfectly centered on this piece of paper. So here's another example of a three by five print, perfectly centered. Here's, I'll just show you a few so you get an idea. Another one with a few different layers. And here's one with probably three different layers. And I was trying to do this sort of the drop shadow technique that um, I think Birgit and, and Joan has both showed us in videos on our YouTube channel. So that's the three by five. In the center of the paper, um, and this is uh, multiple layers as well. So that's our five by seven, and then you can see that it also works nicely with our six by six. It's quite blurry. I don't know if uh, Tracy is it really blurry? It's it is a little bit. Um, and and just I want to not interrupt you. We, but I have to interrupt you. So we were trying to get multiple cameras, but we have Marsha here. And as technology goes, it is what it is. And we can't control the connection. Madison is giving the link to the video, which is an awesome representation because Luann literally was going to have it placed on her desk. And as things go, we have to roll with the punches. But Luann, I just need to read to you. You can't see the comments scrolling a mile a minute, but uh, everybody's like, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. What a great idea. I can't wait to get this in my hands. So I just think you need to know that as it's coming along. But the, we can see you now. I just wanted to say that. Carry on. <laughs> okay, great. So I think you guys get the idea. Because we've all been stressed about perfect uh, aligning our prints on our paper. Um, and I'll just say this, the acrylic is, this tool is so well made. It's made here in the US. Uh, the markings, there are a lot of markings which you can't see here, but they're etched. So they're not gonna go away, they're permanent. Um, and the tool, the paper guides are really sturdy. We have um, some metal, uh, uh, pieces that will help you secure them in the right holes. We have all the markings, so it's super simple. You know where to put the paper guides depending on what size plate you use. 
And all it, oh, and then the other thing I wanted to say is this is a new one. And you know, when you ever purchase some acrylic, you have to take the paper off. So I didn't take the paper off this one because I wanted to show you. Um, but let me see if I can do it. So basically, you just have to get the edge going, and then you can pull the paper off nice and easily. So now, watch, I won't be able to do it. But um, <laughs> it's okay. You guys have all bought acrylic before. I you love can this. Do it. You're getting so many. Here we go. You're getting so here many we go. stuff. There we go. Okay, so here's the edge, and you can see you just pull the paper right off. And then what you have is this beautiful acrylic tool and i just want to say that we're so happy with how these have come out they're actually little, just almost little pieces of art themselves so we know you guys are gonna love them we love them and once you start playing with this thing oh my gosh you don't really want to print without it so it's super cool we're very excited about it and we hope you love it too and that's so that's thing. our the video you did oh, okay. is very informative and it shows exactly how that is used. And I just feel like if somebody wrote in there, this is a game changer. I kind of feel the same way when Luann, we initially started talking about it. She ran with it. It was like, how cool is this? Um, and we are going to do um, February 10th. So not next. No. Not February. It's February right now. Oh, March. <laughs> March 10th. Um, I will have that. I will have that um, on live uh, Facebook Live here, and so we're just going to demo, 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 and just utilize it. I will not even like. Well, I have to take it out of the packaging, but if I didn't have to take it out of the package, I would unpackage it with you. But so far, people are saying, "Where and when can I order these?" The answer is right now. It is live on the website. The video is there, and this is a true example, Luann, of you running with legit people's ideas and listening um, to them. And that is something that I absolutely love about you and this company. Well, we're excited about it, and we just want to keep hearing from you. So we're always trying to improve. So please keep the feedback coming. We, li we are listening. And we'll continue to listen. So here's a question, which I don't mm -hmm. see why not. Okay, people are at, or somebody asked, can it be used with a round plate? It's going to stay in the same position. Sure. Yes. Yeah, of course. You just have to, you know, snug it where you want it to go here in the center. You can use it with, we set up the it has many markings on it. Like we put little etched markings, uh, little like quarter inch markings along the inner edge of both sides. So you can, you know, play around with it if you wanted to put a circle in here and then just make sure you remember where you want to place your paper. So yeah. yes, I, we actually can't wait to see what you guys do with it <laughs> because we created it for this one purpose. But like everything, you all show us so many more ways to use it. And it's going to be really fun to see that. Okay. Well, there you go. We did it. There was the new tool. It's so exciting. We've been talking about this. Okay. Well, now we have them, and it's here. Yeah. Well, and we will take some questions about this. Again, February 10th. Okay, you are you are getting questions, and I'll answer this real quick because we have special Marsha here, and I want to talk to her. Um, they do want to know, are you shipping to Canada at this time, and what about availability in the UK? Because this is all brand new. Legit, this is the first time it's out. <laughs> yes, um, but it will be available within probably a month in the UK. So we are shipping some soon. And so they're on their way. Let's put it this way. By next week, they're going to be on their way to the UK and you can find it at retailers there. Um, with regard to Canada, if Canada is always very difficult to, because we don't want to overcharge you for shipping. And, um, but if you are in Canada and you would like to make a purchase, you should email us at info at jelly arts because we will find a way to ship it to you we just want to make sure 
that um, we're charging you a reasonable rate. So you should email us at info arts. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, we said this time and time again that we wanted to bring um, more of Jelly Arts to you and talk to you about our amazing team. But instead of talking about them, uh, we talked about why don't we just talk to them and then put it out there and said, who would volunteer to do this? And I'm happy to say that uh, let's, uh, let's give her some volume to be able to speak to us. Um, we're going to welcome the lovely brand ambassador. This is Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Hi. 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 Thank you for having me. So, Marsha, um, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about you and your love for jelly arts or whatever you would like to share about your art career? Um, okay, so I'm Marsha. I'm in the Netherlands. I live um, right in the center of the Netherlands. Um, I live here with my husband. Um, I've been with Jelly Arts a couple of years now. Um, true, five years? No. I five think years? it's been a long time. Yes. Um, and um, I met Luanne at Frankfurt, the, mm -hmm. the big show. So, so this year there wasn't a show, but usually we go to uh, Germany in uh, uh, January, and then we meet up, and um, uh, yeah. So you yes. are fun. I do want to say this about Marsha, also Birgit as well, and Birgit's going to be here next month. So um, Marsha is one of our brand ambassadors, and I know Luann could to add to this, but if you go to our YouTube channel, I think some of the best inspiration comes from our brand ambassadors mm -hmm. right on our YouTube channel. Luann, would you agree about that? Oh, absolutely. And Marsha, do you remember this? I have to, it made me think about this. When I think when you've been working, we've been working together for probably at least five years. It's been a long time. And when we first met, you, we, I was so excited because you were creating some really cool, inspiring projects for younger printers. And we have, we were doing a lot of technique videos that our older audience loved, but we were really, this tool is so cool that for younger people as well. And you had so many adorable, beautiful, edition. And so we were very lucky to have you join us. And now you're still here, so it's it's all great. Yeah. And if you guys have any questions for Marsha, um, I'm happy to let her know. I'm kind of just moderating here, but I do want to talk to Marsha a little bit, like getting started, maybe somebody new who's just ordered, hasn't opened the packaging. Now, number one rule I always tell people is you have to open the package to get the best use out of it. <laughs> but let's assume they, let's that's assume, a good start. Yeah, let's assume they've ordered the package. Where would you recommend that somebody started um, um, printing? I mean, I want to hear it from you. Yeah, so if I remember when I first got a jelly plate, so um, I did a workshop first. So I saw it in real life. And uh, and then, of course, I had to have one. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> um, but I would just take it out of the packaging, um, get a nice stack of computer paper, um, grab some paint, doesn't matter what kind of paint, the paint you have at home is just fine. And then just try it and see where it takes you. Because once you um, have rolled the first paint on there and you have pulled your first print, you are mm -hmm. going to be hooked. 
No. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> I love that you just said that because Mansi also said she wants to know from you what do you find most addictive about um, printing? Yeah, so I I um, can remember that I um, um, had a chance to um, get some of my stuff printed on a big press when I was six or something like that. And wow. I've never forgotten it. So I have always been interested in anything printing, printmaking. So once this tool, when I first saw the gel gel plate, I thought, well, this is interesting. Maybe it could be. And I was still scrapbooking back then. So I was also not sure how I was going to be able to use it. But I thought, this is something. There is something there. I'm interested in the in this. I'm interested in colors, um, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and then, yeah, I I um, rekindled my love for printmaking when I found the gel plates. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Yes. But I was love. I love how you said. When you said six, I was like, oh, gal, please don't tell me that was like, I don't know, you know, 10 years ago or something. <laughs> you know? I know you're a lot younger than I am, but I love that. I love that you saw the tool. Anyway, so now I can never go back again because print making is everything. I love that. Now, are there, go ahead, Luann, sorry. So one of the things that Marsha does is, is she prints beautifully on fabrics. So I love to quilt myself and watching the fabric that she prints, it's so beautiful. I mean, you've made the most beautiful pillows and the little fabric books and you've done a lot on fabric. And I just love that because I'm, I love fabric. I mean, if I could have, a whole library of fabrics in my home. I would. I just love them, and um, and what you print are really gorgeous. They're it's really fun. So it's fun to see how people are using the plate so differently, and you know, Marsha has been doing that all these years. I mean, one of the things that I'm really amazed at. I don't know. Maybe you can say how you even do this, but you and Birgit, you're printing every month. Like you're creating a new blog each month. And that is really amazing, right? I mean, it takes a lot of ideas. I mean, you've done a lot of, you know, if you've been making them for five years, that's a lot of blogs, right? And they're all so That is a lot. That is a lot. Oh, you cut out a little bit at the end. It is a lot. Yeah. Um, somebody just asked, which I want to make sure we are getting the question. Somebody said, where can we see Marsha's work? Now, for one thing, I see her Instagram is being mm -hmm. shared. We will, sh we'll, we, we will ask Marsha. I know her Facebook page is there. If you go to our YouTube channel, I think some of Marsha's and really Birgit's um, content, too, from day one is still so useful and utilized Five years later, like it doesn't date itself. So I love yeah. that. And Natalie Kalbach just said, I love Marsha's amazing ideas for printmaking. And she does the most amazing videos too. A hundred percent agree. Yes. Thanks. Yes. And mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. I love this question because I was going to ask it to you as well, um, Marsha. What size plate would you suggest that somebody starts with? Um, I would say five by seven. That wasn't my first plate. I started with the six by six. Um, but the five by seven, I think, is the most versatile to start with. You can create cards on, on there. You can create like little artworks. Um, yeah, I think it's the perfect size for me. That's, I love that. Um, my first one was so six crazy, by ten. Crazy. We should also yeah. mention, 
Yes. We should also mention that Marsha is doing Zoom classes at Michael's, that they can find her there too. Yes, when is yeah. your next one? We need to know this date. Yeah, so I did one last week. Okay. Which you can now view on uh, the Michael's uh, YouTube channel. And I'm sure Jelly Arts has it in a playlist on their YouTube channel too, I, I'm, I think. That's a I have to check. That. I don't know. We'll check on okay. it. Anyway, um, Michael's YouTube channel, and then the most colorful uh, uh, thumbnail you can find in the recent videos. That's my video. <laughs> um, and then uh, the next one is not next month, but um, first week of April. Yes, check. Um, if you guys go to the Jelly Arts events um, at our on our um, website, we are keeping a current events calendar of our Facebook Lives, our Michael Zoom classes, anything and anywhere that you can see Jelly Arts, we're going to keep you updated there uh, with links. And then um, Nancy, by the way, said, Marsha, your class last week was great. So we have people. Oh, on fantastic. And the Michaels classes are free. So can't get better. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it, Tracy, the events calendar is on our Jelly Arts blog. So if you go to uh, www.jellyartsblog.com, you can find the events there. So um, I thought it was. Uh, I don't want to correct classes. you. I don't want to correct you, but I thought it was no, LinkedIn yeah. too. <laughs> um, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was under um, on the main page, but maybe it is just the blog. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Yes, you do have to go to the blog. Okay, and I can give a link to that as well. Or Madison can give a yeah. link to that. Yep, you're right. Sorry. Uh, thank you. I must be always on the blogs. It's always up on my page. Right. Um, right. Joan said, I loved your class. Um, Pam says, I will definitely look up Marsha's videos. Yes, yes, yes. And Birgit said, her, she agreed with you about the five by seven. Um, I feel like I should be asking each of the artists, what plate did you start with? And mm -hmm. what plate mm -hmm. is your go-to plate? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, my my second plate was the big one, the twelve by fourteen. Really? Because of course I was still scrapbooking, so I needed. No, you do plate. utilize it in scrapbooking as well too, because we get asked that a lot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't really scrapbook anymore. Only small formats, so not the the 12 by 12 sheets anymore but um yeah i did i did that yeah I and, once, and once i did i oh. couldn't do it in the store because it didn't look right to me anymore i needed to have some paint on there it took over it takes <laughs> over <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah okay um it does now, and I'll probably ask this of Luann. I'm not going to answer this question because I think everyone would know the answer. But Tori wants to know, is there a kit you would suggest, I'll ask both of you, or what else would I need beside the plate? We'll start with Marsha. Is there stuff that you would recommend beside the plate that could go along or a kit that you would recommend that they have on hand? Oops, did we lose Marsha's vote? Can you hear me, Marsha? Um, oh, there she is. Paper? <laughs> so I, I can hear you. How about if I jump in here? Yeah. There's a delay, I think. <laughs> yeah, there is a little delay. I just want to make sure yeah. it's caught up. Can I see? Because you're not moving, Marsha, a little bit. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, there is. Okay, Luann, I'm going to send it over to you until, Lu um, <laughs> until we get caught up. Go ahead, Luann. Uh-oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. I, if, if Marsha has suggested the 5x7 plate, then I would suggest the kit with the 5x7 plate in it. And that kit is our new journal kit. 
So we have a few other new items this year, but we have an, um, in addition to the perfect placement tool, and one of them is a kit that we've done with the five by seven plate, and that is our journal printing kit. And with that, you get the five by seven plate, you got a, a durable, reusable five by seven mylar stencil, roller, and you get, um, there were some, oh, you get the Hanamule journal. And it's a 20 page journal that you can print in. So that kit, I think that's, now it's my favorite kit because it is one of our, it's one of our newest kits and I love it. So Tracy, do you have it there? I don't have it. Yeah, my oh, there's the journal. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. In my hands. So this, this is yeah. a great, I have to agree with you. The journal kit's a great starter yeah. uh, because it has everything. And, uh oh! Don't everybody leave me. Look at the connection. Hold on. <laughs> it does. So, and you can use whatever kind of paints you have. <laughs> okay. Did we get Marsha back? Can I hear you, Marsha? Hold on. Oh, Marsha! No, Marsha's in the Netherlands, so I'm hoping we're not losing the connection here. I am still here. Oh, there she is. Okay. Sorry, Marsha. Can you hear us? Oh, you're moving now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm. I tr uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm going to drop everybody. No, I'm not going to drop you. I'm just. It jumps. Yeah, I know it's it jumping. Okay, and we're doing the best. There we go. I just moved us around. I feel like maybe I'm talking to yeah, the gods if I just move it around. <laughs> okay, can we hear you, Marsha? Oh, darn. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Okay. think you're back now. Ah. That's all right. It'll come back. It will come back. And in the meantime, if you guys do have another question, um, some several people are saying, I bought the journal kit, and Madison just gave the link. Um, Tracy, why don't okay. you, what, what else do you have? Uh, I'm answering. I'm just looking at all the questions here. Can you hear me, Luann? Oh, goodness. Hold on, guys. Can you guys still hear me? Let, let's just make sure that I can be heard, and then um, I'm going to put them back on the right and the left if you guys can hear us. Um, Madison? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. I think. Thank you. It's the internet. I don't know what to say other than <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe this is the way that they say we have to. Okay. Are we back? Can you hear me, Marsha? Okay. Birgit says she can hear me. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know if I, if I lost the connection. With That's okay. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I feel like it's cut out a little bit, but I, I can see that the comments are still coming. I can hear you. Okay, there we go. She can, okay. <laughs> this is what I say with the production and with technology, it either works in your favor or it decides to make you sweat profusely. And in that case, it is what it is. But I do want to say um, thank you guys for your questions. Everybody can hear me. Luann, can I hear you? <laughs> no, don't. It's so fine. Yeah. Okay. And Marsha, can I hear you? See, I can't hear. I can hear you. Okay. Well, everybody can hear me, but I can't hear you guys, so it makes kind of interesting. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, but you're not moving. So that's what's a little like. Um... I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, well, now I can hear Marsha. <laughs> okay, you guys, I almost, uh, I almost need to say like, okay, yeah, see, uh, it does, Birgit just said, Marsha and Luann look like they're moving underwater. So I don't want to. Can you hear me? 
I am now. Okay, there is a huge lag time. Oh, everybody's saying, have you seen the stuff about Zoom meetings and how they're lagging and people going, oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, Natalie just suggested that maybe you guys have to leave and call back in. Can you guys try and do that for me so I don't have to end it on my own? Can I do that? Disconnect you and you <laughs> call right back in, please? We're going to do that. I'm going to disconnect you guys. I hope you can hear me. And then just call back in. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send a homing pigeon to the... Okay, let's try this. Thanks, Natalie. <laughs> I literally just disconnected them. <laughs> Bye, see you. Okay, let's see if they call back in. I'll just email them, but um, I don't want to end this on my own. Uh, I really don't want to end this on my own. Uh, let's see, Marsha. Let's ask Marsha uh, some more questions. There we go. That's even better. Awesome. They're both calling in. Okay. Let's get you guys added. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Uh, I'm adding you guys. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. If... Okay, I can hear you again. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> I can hear Louisa. Yes. I can hear Tracy. Okay, I'll ask one other question and then... I can hear both too. Perfect. Okay, uh, Marsha, is there a favorite medium that you oh, have to use on the plates? You know, paints, inks, what do you recommend? Um, yeah, I like paints, soft body paints. <laughs> Those are my favorites, I think. Um, and then, is it working? It is working. It's slightly delayed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of stuff. That... Okay. Where... So I don't have any patience. So it needs to be dry quickly and that's why i like acrylic paints me too i would agree with you luann how about you mm -hmm. <laughs> luann's like i agree because the connection is bad yes me too you guys i hate to do this because i think they can hear me but i think there's a <laughs> And I will answer like two more questions. I will get off the air. I just want to, hopefully Marsha can hear me. Hopefully Luann can hear me. If um, you guys know that from the bottom of my heart, I love our team. I love Thank working you. for the company and I certainly love wor working with Luann. So I just want to thank you. We do our best. Technology maybe failed us a little bit today, which is unusual. Um, but not that unusual, but I will disconnect. And then I do want to make sure, and we shared mm -hmm. this at the beginning. Um, we will <laughs> Marsha's Facebook page, her Instagram page. Cause if you're not visiting her Instagram page, you're missing out and also visiting our YouTube channel and visiting her when she does the Facebook lives. Mm -hmm. Also, she does our Michael zoom classes. So um, I will let you guys go so we can move on. But I thank you much for the bottom of my heart. And darn it, technology will get it to work next time. <laughs> They're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Sorry. Bye, Bye Luann. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know. I mean, I'm still moving along and I can see me, but unfortunately they were frozen and I know how uncomfortable it is to be asked a question if you can't legit answer. I love them so much, too, so I'm sorry. Okay, so Marsha's um, Instagram page is Marsha V-A-L-K. So I love that, and um, I know her Facebook page is given um, at the beginning as well. 
We are going to do this with Birgit next month. Um, and you know what? It either works flawlessly or you have issues. I've just learned to roll with the punches. And Natalie, thank you for saying this. It can happen. All good. You guys handled it great. Nobody lost control <laughs> or accidentally said any bad words. <laughs> no, I really appreciate it. Um, from And Birgit's like, oh my God, now I have to do it next month. And it's funny because the first one we did, we had no issues whatsoever. But it is what it is. And so I apologize. Um, the new tool will be um, in my hands soon. Next Wednesday, March 3rd. No, is it March? Yes. March 3rd, Seth After is back on our Facebook page. I keep thinking February. March 10th was going to be nothing, but I will be on um, with the new tool. I'll unpackage it. I'll talk about it. We'll use it. I'll demonstrate it. We'll um, share it with you. Um, Birgit, thank you. It'll be fine. Uh, it will be fine. It is what it is. I always, um, we had a little bit of an issue. We wanted to really show you the tool, but we have the video. Make sure you go watch that video. I think it's going to be the biggest um, information that you can get about the tool itself. Luann made the video. And then what else do we have? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can announce this. I think I can. I'm going to announce it anyway. Um... Uh, I mean, nobody's here not to tell me to announce it, right? <laughs> Madison, can I announce it? <laughs> okay, stay tuned in March. I'm going to go ahead and announce it. In March, we're going to be doing a March printing challenge. Um, so I want to share this. Um, we're doing this by theme and prompt, if you want to think of it that way. It's going to be 31 days of challenge like printing we're going to challenge you and we have yeah okay good so literally everybody was like yeah you can share it because you're just the only one there um i have writing on my graphic but that's because i was okay jelly art said go ahead <laughs> as i talked about it already <laughs> um it is a challenge it is 31 days and um we are inviting all of you we have giveaways Every one of our team members are going to be participating in this. And basically, it's 31 days of prompts to inspire you to use your jelly plate. Um, I'll give you some of them. I'll give you some. There's Marsha. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, here are some of them. Flowers, circles, rainbows, hearts, feathers, letter, letters, numbers, water, desert, mountains, beach, the sky, galaxy, Happiness is dot, 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 black and white, splash of color. Should I just keep going? There's only 15 more. Shamrock, dots, triangles, pattern, love is dot, 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 sunshine, rain, the moon, sparkle, fruits, vegetables, your favorite color, your favorite animal, botanicals, and a sign of spring. So that's coming up in March. Mine has writing on it because everybody signed up to share. Uh, we have all of our team participating in it. I plan on participating in this, and I hope that you guys will. This, to me, is something I'm really, um, I like to be challenged by things, and you can do it on anything. Tags, cards, uh, you know, your husband's back. I don't care. Uh, maybe when he's sleeping. Uh, so <laughs> that about answers that. Well, um, I hope today that you thoroughly enjoyed it. Marsha, I still have more questions for you because I could sit and talk to the designers all day long. Um, I just think there's some of uh, our whole team is some of the most amazing people that I get to work with, and it's the best uh, part of the job. How do you sign up, Joan? Well, first, you have to qualify. No, there's nothing. There is no sign up. You just participate. Uh, we'll be giving you all the details in the blog posts coming up. Uh, it is hosted by Jelly Arts, and we are going to ask that you use the hashtag March Printing Challenge. And um, Katie said, you're very joyful, makes me laugh and smile. Oh, thank you, because then that makes up for the tech technology problems and the fact that I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> Thank you for that. Marcia just asked me something that means so much. 
Um, she just said, maybe I can come back sometime. 100% the answer is yes. Um, and um, we have Birgit coming up. We have Tanya coming up from the UK. We have Mansi coming up. And we're just going to continue to do this because I think what's important is realizing that this is a really wonderful, really company to work for and with. Um, and Luann uh, does not like to so much be in front of the camera. She likes to be behind the scenes, but she supports each and every one of us. Um, for the March challenge, uh, what's my Facebook page? You would like to know my Facebook page? Oh, um, I think I could give you that. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to be live tonight on my Facebook di uh, live doing a mixed media demo. It's been a long time since I've done mixed media, but thank you for that. I will give you my Facebook page. I don't know what it is. It's Tracy Winesapple something. <laughs> okay. Yes, our videos are all of, always available on Facebook. Yeah, you want my Facebook page. I'll give you my Facebook page. I'm sure Madison has it quicker than I do, but I can find it for you. Hold on. Thank you for asking. I will be doing a demo free tonight live on my Facebook page. Uh, I, and I, this is the type of stuff that I love to do and share. This is um, actually, um, you know what will be interesting is the placement tool in this journal. I didn't even think about that. All right. I don't know what my Facebook page is. It's it's Art Journaling with Tracy Weinzeffel. <laughs> so um, that is what it is. Yeah, you could find Tracy with Tracy Weinzeffel. Nobody spells their name quite like that, I don't think. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, Luann. Do not forget you, are, you got to see the newest tool from Jelly Arts today. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being here and for participating in Jelly Telly. We are doing this once a month, typically the third Wednesday of the month. Don't forget to go to our blog and check the events. They're all there. I don't know if Luann will ever have me back to moderate another one, but I hope she does. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Madison, thank you for being behind the scenes and answering questions. Uh, don't forget, you can order the new placement tool now. It is available. And um, I thank you. Have a wonderful day. This incomplete and technology-filled uh, video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel um, as well, just so that we can replay this and remember this. Marsha, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And we will have you back because I had more questions for you and I want the answers. You guys have a great time, uh, a great day. And I will see you later if you want to join me on my Facebook page later on at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. Thank you.